Bianca was born before her time. She was extraordinary. A mother is honoring her daughter four years after she died in a car crash in Lono County. Tonight, she spoke with Alexis Wainwright as she continues to look for answers surrounding the accident that claimed her daughter's life. I'm on the side of Highway 165 where that crash happened and Bianca Withers lost her life. Tonight, I spoke with her mother who says she's still grieving every day. She's my only daughter. I don't get to have another one. And every day is hard. It's very hard. It's been a long four years for Chantel Walker. Every day is March 23rd, 2017. That's when her daughter, then 24-year-old Bianca Withers, died in a car crash. That's the worst pain in the world to get a phone call. And I didn't get to say goodbye. According to a report filed by state police, Withers and Game and Fish Commissioner Andrew Parker were driving in opposite directions on Highway 165. The report says Withers veered into the other lane and crashed into Parker's truck. There's still a lot of questions lingering. I want answers and I want to finally get this behind me. Walker filed a wrongful death lawsuit and is waiting for the trial. Just knowing that you brought a child into this world that's no longer here is the hardest thing. Walker says the 24-year-old singer made a huge impact beyond the natural state, and she wants to continue to honor her. Remember that she loved God so much. She was a Christian that loved to sing. The trial for this lawsuit will start on May 18th. That'll be at the Lono County Courthouse. Reporting in Lono County, Alexis Wainwright, back to you. Alexis, thank you very much.